There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge. Okay guys, welcome back. And we're gonna look at a short video today on a cool feature that Thinkorswim has. So it has to do with risk management. Let's just say that, you know, that's the uh, the breakout level that we're looking at, right? We'll say that this is our stop loss right here. So let's say that this is our target. All right, perfect. Okay, so we've, de we've defined our entry, our exit, uh, both to the upside as a target and to the downside as a stop loss. So basically we're risking anywhere from 444 to 437, which is about seven bucks <clears throat> to make 444, 457, which is about 13 bucks. So two to one more or less. All right, if this thing breaks above 444, we want in. The thing is that you don't want to get into the trade and enter that uh, subsequent trade. Well, with Thinkorswim, you can enter everything at once. Let's go back to our trade tab. So we're looking at September 1st contracts. We said that we are currently sitting at 437, sorry, 439, pretty much 440, okay? So that's what we're at, we're at right now. And what we said was, I only want to get in if this thing breaks above, right? And if it breaks above, then if it drops below, 437 then I'm out if it if it goes all the way to 457 then I'm out as well we want to enter when spy reaches 444 but we want to enter possibly a contract that is already in the money all right let's look for something because the 444 is giving us 32 delta let's say that we want to be a little bit safer and go for let's say a 4 a 41 delta okay so that would be a 442 all right, which is trading between 241 and 243. So let's say, let's go for the ask price, the upper threshold, which would be 243, all right? And you see how you get the buy uh, rectangle right there below the arrow. And I'm gonna right click on this, right? And of course you could just say buy, right? And you can go for single or whatever, but you could also buy custom. Now with the buy custom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an OCO bracket. And we're gonna take, a, take care of everything right here. Okay, so what is this telling us? That we're going to enter this contract, right? The 442 call contract, <clears throat> if it reaches a particular price. Now, it is currently trading at 242, you know, but we don't want that. We don't want 243. Let's say that we want to make sure that we enter this contract once we have reached a particularly safer level closer to 444, okay? So let's say that that's gonna be something like, 263 okay okay if this thing breaks 263 all right then we are going to be able to call this other bracket and this other bracket says well if this thing reaches 343 then i'm out that's my price target right or if it breaks below 143 then i'm out right now 143 of 263 that's about a dollar 20 so it's a little bit under 50% loss of value of the contract. So you can play with these numbers however much you want. But the thing is that we're taking care of this order all at once. We're getting in only if it breaks past this point. And once we do, we can get out at this level. Or we're only willing to risk it if we go down to this level. Okay. And not only that, okay, you're entering at a limit. You're exiting at a limit as well. right? But you can also... Uh, link this and say, I want the trigger to be plus $1, right? But that's not what I wanted to show you. You could also do, you know what? I want to go to market, okay? Not a limit exit, a market exit, okay? And how will that work? Well, let's swish over here, move on, move on over here to the little gear icon. And okay, I wanna sell at market, what? I want to sell SPY, okay? 
and whenever spy reaches mark above, right, and we said that our top level was, I believe, five, uh, 457, right? So 457. Sorry, not the contract, the actual value of SPY. So we're going to exit at market whenever it is triggered by SPY reaching equal or above 457. All right, so go ahead and save this. And there it is, okay? So what we're doing, let's recap. Come over here to the chart, right? We're entering if it reaches, bring this up here, okay? We're, right now it's currently trading at 242, right? Which is around here. If this thing breaks above 263, then we go in, okay? If it breaks above 263, if it reaches 457, then we're out. If it drops below 163, then we're also out. Okay, And we can still mess around with this and say we don't want to get in at 263, the contract. right? Because remember, this is the value of the call. This is the value of the call. But 457, which we entered here, is the value of SPY, not of the contract, not of the call. Well, we could also do that. We could say if this thing enters, right, market price of SPY entering, if it is above 444, like that, then we're out. Okay? And you can look at what this is exactly. When you hit confirm and send, it'll bring up the order ticket and it'll tell you, okay, what are you doing? You're buying the one one spy contract call September twenty third September first at four forty two to open. Right? If here's the condition, if spy is above at or above four forty four. Sorry. We're buying the 442 call if spot breaks above 444. Now, we're also getting out of that 442 call contract at market triggered by the OCO bracket, bracket, which says if it is above 457, then we get out. Or we're also exiting that contract if we hit the stop of 163 on that contract itself. All right. So I thought this was a very cool uh, feature that Thinkorswim has. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below if on Webull or something else, uh, Robinhood or the other uh, trade platforms out there, if they have this sort of a feature because I thought it was very useful. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.